The idea for night spraying um, basically stemmed from a conversation with, uh, with Bob Blackshaw and uh, he had mentioned that he had met up with a, a farmer a few years back named Don Bowles who because of the ability to uh, take advantage of auto steer GPS guidance um, had been spraying a lot at night and was quite happy with some of the results. So, so what we did last year at our field school was put together a module where we demonstrated a few different spray timings with some different modes of actions of chemical and, and had a module at the field school where we discussed the premise and there was quite a bit of interest at the field school and um, people were very curious you know to find out are there certain chemicals that you know might have better efficacy at night or can you cut water volumes at night those types of questions so what, what we ended up doing was putting in a proposal to the funding consortium to evaluate it on a small plot basis and uh, we were approved and our major funders are the Alberta Canola Producers Commission and the Alberta Barley Commission. So what, uh, what we're doing now is evaluating two different types of spray treatment, a pre-seed burn down treatment and an in-crop treatment. We're doing that uh, in cooperation with a couple of other Applied Research Association. Uh, one is uh, Smoky River Applied Research Association up in Falaire and Lara is Lakeland Applied Research Association so they're both doing the in-crop treatments and we're doing uh, pre-seed and in-crop here in Lethbridge just testing a number of different active ingredients on a number of different crops and right now uh, Randy is just getting prepared to to spray our daytime treatment. So I mentioned we were doing different timings. Our daytime treatment uh, is scheduled be to be be between 12 and 1 o'clock and then we've got a night time which is between midnight and 1 a.m. and then we've got an early spray which is between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. so we've done it as a split plot design where we can evaluate um, is there differences with that timing of application and uh, the the hope is to to get a better understanding of whether that timing does make a difference on efficacy whether uh, spraying at night can uh, improve the number of hours that are suitable for spraying for farmers as farm sizes increase drastically uh, they're they're really trying to push the envelope as far as efficiencies you know you've got an expensive high clearance sprayer you want to make the most use of it possible uh, so if you're able to spray at the night time you know maybe do your outside boundaries in the day and uh, as long as there aren't too many obstacles you can do a lot of spraying at night with the with auto steer so we want to make sure, are there any issues, you know, there's, there's concerns about um, inversions, if there's, uh, <clears throat> if there's low wind situations where you've got, you know, a warm soil that's lifting up and, you know, making, causing drift issues down the road, uh, that, that has been a concern, but really, um, you know, it, it's because of the advent of GPS technology, and it's, uh, it's about trying to find more suitable spray times you know the the wind tends to be a lot lower down here in southern Alberta at night and early mornings but uh, are we making a compromise as far as herbicide efficacy well uh, so far we've been able to evaluate um, two of our pre-seed burn down trials and uh, we, we have two spray dates essentially because we want to be able to get a lot of different environmental conditions to evaluate because that can greatly affect the results that we've had. Uh, in our pre-seed uh, trials we've reduced the rates uh, by three quarters to ensure us the ability to see any differences. Um, often herbicides are registered at a rate that will work really well under all conditions so we've decided to do a cut rate so that if there are differences in the time of day that we'll be more likely to pick them out and um, also we've uh, not only evaluated glyphosate but there's a lot of um, glyphosate mixes that are on the market right now rather than evaluate them combined we chose to separate them out um, so things like uh, carfentrazone that's the aim in uh, prepass and those types of things that are that are sort of mixes prepasses florazolam um, looking at uh, you know, is there a difference as far as herbicide groups are concerned? And honestly, I uh, haven't had much of a chance to evaluate early results, but the good thing is, is we have seen some significant differences. Um, 
surprisingly, uh, I believe the early morning treatment has been showing the least amount of efficacy. Uh, to me, that's some pretty big news because that's typically when farmers like to spray. They want to get up early and beat, uh, and beat the wind and, and get the spraying done. Uh, what we've seen actually has been that that's been the, the poorest results. Uh, the midday looks to be the best so far, especially when looking at glyphosate. We haven't sprayed any of our in-crop trials uh, and so we don't have any results at that point.